Hi, this is Eric Vanderberg, Director of Information Systems and Security at Juranov. Today I'd like to talk to you about mobile authenticators. Authentication systems are based off of one of three things, something you know, something you have, or something you are. A username and password combination is something you know. Biometrics such as fingerprints or retina scans are examples of something you are, and keys cards or tokens are examples of something you have. Token systems use a mathematical algorithm to compute a number several times a minute. The number only works for a short time and can be used alone or alongside other authentication methods to grant access to a computer system. Tokens are a relatively good security measure to implement, but have seen limited utilization due primarily to expensive token devices and the requirement to carry around yet another item. Without the token device, access is denied, but who wants to carry around another device? However, this is changing. Since most people carry a cell phone around already, some tokens-based authenticators run as an app on a cell phone, both reducing the cost to procure the system and the requirement for another device to be carried by individuals. For example, the Battle.net mobile authenticator, which you can see here, can be used to access Blizzard Entertainment's online account. Once a user access enters their username and password, the site prompts for a code, as you can see here on the phone. Please excuse the glare there. The green bar at the bottom shows how long the code will be valid, and the token software will generate a new code once that one expires. So you can see right there. Similar systems can be deployed in your enterprise to better protect your data, systems, and reputation. This and many other tips provided by Jurinov, an e-discovery and e-security company.